Nowadays, many gamers are finding it difficult to meet up and play with friends like before. Whether playing with family or inviting friends, the games I'll show you in this video of the best co-op games for 4 players on the Nintendo Switch offer a quality cooperative and competitive experience for up to 4 players to play together. Hacking through hordes of demons and gradually progressing with new skills and gear, read, grinding, in Diablo 3 is one of the best multiplayer games, and it's even better with a friend. Plus, the experience translates beautifully to the mobile Switch, ideally paired with a pro controller. Here's one you can almost mindlessly grind through while having a conversation with some music on in the background, although it can also demand your attention during tough boss fights. While its competitive scene can be a serious matter, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a great party game for all kinds of plates, supporting matches of not only 4 but even 8 players at the same time. To maximize the chaos, keep the items on. You can also play the story mode in multiplayer. Even if you're not a fan of Mario, or Nintendo characters in general, the immense roster of characters in Ultimate is sure to hold someone's favorite, and if still there's no character you like, you can always make yourself with the Mii Fighters. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition is a port of a GameCube game that has a unique controller setup. All four players had to have a Game Boy Advance and a Link cable to play the game. It's one of the few games on the system that required this setup. While expensive, it did make this Final Fantasy spin-off more memorable, along with other games like The Legend of Zelda, for Swords Adventures. Thankfully, this Switch edition makes it much easier to set up a multiplayer session. Players could create a character from four races and quest together with friends in an action RPG that looped around in a cycle. Sonic has always done better in 2D, and while he has plenty of high-quality 3D adventures, Sonic Superstar shows that the glove fits better when pixelated, and this time it has a large focus on multiplayer, with four distinct characters that can help each other to win. The game already has plenty to offer, with its unique new elements and creative boss fights, but it also has something for the more competitive-minded. While racing friends in Sonic games is nothing new, this time you can create your own mech and battle it out, shooting lasers and all. Guacamelee 2 is a wrestle-based Metroidvania, or more like a Wrestlevania. In the first game, players assumed the role of Juan, a simple Mexican peasant who became a mystical wrestler to fight the forces of darkness. That quest continued in this sequel, and players could explore the depths of the underworld alone or with three other friends. There are not a lot of Metroidvanias with intense action-heavy mechanics as this game or ones with an extensive multiplayer feature. This all adds up to make Guacamelee 2 one of the most unique Metroidvanias of the past decade, and that includes the original one, which also had multiplayer. While all games on this list are excellent for parties, Super Mario Party is the ideal one, and not only for having the word in the name, it's designed so anyone can pick up and play it, no matter if it's the first or hundredth time they play it. Much like games before it, the classic mode sees players compete with each other for stars, until one comes on top. This new edition brings a raft mode, a more challenging and friendlier version of the game. In it, players cooperate with each other to get to the goal, being all of them winners at the end. A mainline Mario game will nearly always be primarily presented as a single-player package, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder is no exception. The first 2D entry in years, the October 2023 release proved that this formula is still as timeless as ever, especially when Nintendo throws in a few neat twists to give the overall package a fresh feel. While the levels largely play out as expected, the game includes things like modifiers that significantly change a stage's behavior and presentation, and this mechanic results in some of Wonder's highest points. Visually, the platformer looks fantastic, as tends to be the case with most first-party Switch offerings. In the lead-up to the game's debut, Nintendo highlighted Wonder's co-op features, especially the 12 playable characters. For players can jump into a playthrough, and the game provides quite a few accessibility options to cater to children who might just be entering the world of gaming. Wonder also takes a few measures to try and reduce the frustration that can come from adding co-op to 2D platformers, including the fact that players cannot bump into each other. While online multiplayer is implemented to an extent, it is nowhere as involved as Wonder's local co-op. A stunning game by anyone's standards, Streets of Rage 4 is a direct continuation of the classic series, and its roots are firmly planted in the 80s. It's an honest and to the point beat em up, with beautifully handcrafted graphics and well balanced combat. Up to four players can take on the challenge, clearing the streets of Wood Oak from games trying to take it apart. While not a gameplay for the story, it definitely has the feeling of a classic action movie, with you and your friends doing all the stunts.
Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order was a sequel that was a long time coming, and it was a surprise to see the series get revived on Switch exclusively. Like the rest of the series, players could take control of a cavalcade of Marvel heroes, from popular ones like Spider-Man to more obscure ones like Elsa Bloodstone. The game was set up a lot like a looter RPG akin to Diablo 3, but with a more streamlined series of RPG mechanics. It's the ultimate Marvel fan's dream, which is in the title, and it is best experienced with three other friends. It may not be Marvel Spider-Man 2, but it still packs a mighty wallop on Switch. Super Mario 3D World Mario has had plenty of 3D adventures, but few where he can share the joy with others, much less three other people. Super Mario 3D World makes great use of the mechanics to give a challenging but rewarding experience, mixing in a bit of chaos when having four players on the screen. The Switch version of the game also comes with Bowser's Fury, although it can only be played by two people max. Keep in mind that, besides Mario, each character comes with their own strengths and weaknesses. Toad is the fastest but can't jump far, Luigi jumps the farthest but has a slippery walk, etc. Just make sure to give the more forgiving characters to those with less experience, otherwise, they might spend more time falling than playing. Monster Hunter Rise is the latest entry in the series, and while it didn't change things significantly following Monster Hunter World, it made good on what it started. One of the coolest additions, besides theming the game around a samurai aesthetic, was the inclusion of Palamutes. Palamutes were the dog equivalent to the cat equivalent of Palicos in the previous entries. Both creatures could help in battle if friends didn't join a match, but only Palamutes could be ridden around like horses. Hopefully, Palamutes are here to stay. But if they aren't, then that just makes Monster Hunter Rise all the more special as a multiplayer game on Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Kart racing games are always great additions to parties, since they're easy to pick up and fun to explore. They all work roughly the same, with a colorful cast of characters and all kinds of weapons to fling to your opponents. There are a few quality choices to pick from, but on the Switch the clear winner is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a title that brings all content present in the original game, DLC included, and adds even more on top of that, with new courses and character additions ranging from King Boo to the Splatoon Inklings. Rayman Legends had an interesting relationship with Nintendo because it began as a Wii U exclusive. It then got other console versions, so Nintendo fans had to wait it out, and they also lost features in the process. While the game did have some initial setbacks, Rayman Legends became an instant classic between fans and reviewers. The art style was brilliant, the four-player platforming worked better than ever before, and the music-based levels were something to behold. Maybe one day Rayman can return to consoles, but for now, this game is more than enough. Don't let its seemingly simple premise put you off, since Nintendo Switch Sports can ignite fierce competition among all who play it. The sports are really well implemented, and the interaction with the Joy-Cons makes it simulate the activities well enough, without having to leave the comfort of home. Keep in mind that you won't be able to play any sports when going as four players, only bowling, tennis and volleyball are available for so many people. Still, they're the best the game has to offer, particularly volleyball and the constant shift in roles. good brawlers on Switch with 4-player co-op options. There are very few, however, that offer 6-player co-op, which is why Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge was chosen. What better way to end the article than by upping the ante with a wild amount of players on screen? Yes, it can become chaotic, but it also adds to the fun. Multiplayer aside, the game is a great spiritual sequel to the TMNT games of the 90s, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Plus, the game just got DLC that added new levels, modes, and characters like Yajimbo, the samurai rabbit from the comics. Nintendo Switch owners have a few trying games at their fingertips, and an argument could be made that trying 2 and 4 are the picks of the bunch. However, trying 5 is a very solid addition to the franchise and also the most recent project. Three adventurers who conveniently fit into fantasy archetypes find themselves having to go on another quest, this time to stop a power-hungry villain called Lady Sunny. As far as stories go, Trine 5 does not try to be anything more than just passable, but it succeeds in reaching that standard. The game is entirely about its puzzles, and they are consistently engaging and creative. Solo runners have the option to swap between any of the characters at once, allowing them to use their unique skills to carefully work their way through each puzzling scenario. Meanwhile, co-op players can also pick any of the characters, so they won't be forced to commit to one class. As such, there could be four clones on the screen at any given time. 
try 5 is a better overall experience in co-op. So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. I would like to remind you that in the description we have a list of different products that can make your gaming experience much better. If you want to buy, the link will be in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye!